What's up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends from the Facebook Shadowgun page today. They posted a video yesterday about the new Nebula shotgun. They already revealed the Nebula shotgun on the last mad stream. And they even let us see the first gameplay footage with the Nebula shotgun. So yesterday they posted another video, minute 45. I was like, okay, more Nebula gameplay, that's cool. But the minute 45 video actually has a lot of little details. If you didn't see it, I will let it run at the end of this video. But we are going to see a first ever gameplay footage of the new sniper, Cryonic Scream. We also seen in a minute 45 the blink skill been used like 5 or 6 times. And we even see the hunter mines again in this video. So there's a lot of stuff. Let's look into it. Alright, let's start with the Cryonic Scream gameplay. This is the first ever gameplay footage of the new sniper it's a legendary sniper it's gonna be available in hive mine you see the white and teal colors you see the scope which is very different from all the other sniper scopes we had in the past but what i want to look is what info can we squeeze out of this little gameplay uh, first of all we see the clip size it's seven bullets in this video but we don't know for sure because they could be wearing extra clip on their gear but we see a uh, fast firing sniper with very low damage here, 424 the hits on the blades and 424 the hits also on the grunts, I think. But that's a bit low, like it's very low. It's like half damage from the regular snipers, like eight something on the moneymaker. The fast firing snipers usually have low damage, but not that low. So it could mean a couple things. It could mean maybe it's a very, very low level sniper they're using right now. Maybe it's not uh, 270 power, you know? These guys, sometimes the developers, they're using level 1 accounts or level 1, 2, 3. We're not sure about the stats on the sniper, but we will know very soon. The update is scheduled uh, to be submitted on Wednesday, so we could have the update uh, Friday this week. Uh, even if it's very, very fast, 424. Um, I would be very surprised if it's the real number we see in the game at max power. Now what we see here is the blink skill being used like five or six times back to back to back in about a minute 45. I cut all the parts where they use the blink skill and you can see the dash and the knockdown at the same time. It's when you use Sparta kick or a shockwave, your enemy is going to be knocked on his back. So that's what the blink skill does. As you charge, you will put your opponent on his back. Now it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see if it's a 100% guaranteed knockback or if it's going to be affected by the knockdown resistance because you know the sparta kick uh, when it activates it's not a 100% activation it's going to activate depending on your level a uh, high percentage of the time but when you kick your opponent it's going to be able to resist it sometimes right we will see because the blink skill is probably going to have a high impact in the pvp meta uh, it should be pretty effective in pvp especially in duels uh, 4v4 we will see but the thing is with the build with the blink skill you will have a very very squishy build you cannot put any points in survival and you can see on the skill tree right here if you want to use a blink skill you're gonna have to assess your 13 agility points and 7 combat points so that's a total of 20 all your points will be there zero survival so you're losing uh, the 15% on the skill tree you're losing all the single points you could put there uh, you losing the uh, auto heal activation stats also so blink very effective probably but it's gonna cost you on your survivability so once again very interesting little details today uh, this video was a lot of fun to watch uh, a lot of new stuff revealed uh, little details and let me know in the comment if you guys see something that i missed or i didn't talk about of course hunter mine the skill is there you will see it. it will be activated once in this little video one minute 45 the video and i will let it run at the end so uh thanks again for watching there you go the hunter mine and the hunter mine ribbon by the way uh blue and black we have three new ribbons to chase right guys uh three new skills three new ribbons and they seem pretty easy it's two kills for one ribbon i think uh, and then I think you need three ribbons for the medal or something like that. So once the update drops, we'll have new ribbons and new medals to chase, trying to complete your scorecard. Uh, if you're a collector like me, I like uh, trying to have all the ribbons and medals. But uh, yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will let this thing run at the end and you can watch it and look for more details that I missed. Leave me a comment below if you see anything. 
Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care.